Hey guys, welcome to my first ever weekly vlog. It is Friday, the 2nd of February today, and it's actually my birthday. I turned 39 today, so um, I thought it would be a great time to start weekly vlogging because we're going to be doing some fun stuff throughout the next week, and I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. I also wanted to be more consistent on my channel. I thought a weekly vlog might be the way to do it, and I also wanted to start kind of like um, almost journaling my life a little bit more it's not the most exciting life believe me trust me it's um i mostly stay indoors but i also have like mental health problems and fibromyalgia and other physical health problems that i'm not going to go into and i thought maybe if other people had those kind of problems um they might be able to relate to my videos please ignore the big kind of uh, pile over here um in the bedroom we've just moved out down we've moved four months ago we downsized from a three bedroom house to a one bedroom house and um we love it here but it um we have we've had to get rid of some stuff and we've also got to sort out storage solutions um and this place needed a lot of work before we moved in as well so or as we were moving in so um we are still working on the storage solutions which is why that pile is back there um, anyway, enough about that. I just thought that I'd come on here and let you guys know what I'm doing. I am going to be doing makeup content as well. It's probably going to be less. Um, the only reason being is because I'm like less than a micro YouTuber. Um, I have like nearly 500 subscribers and I can't afford to keep buying all the new makeup. So I do want to keep doing makeup. That's kind of my passion. I know a lot of people want to just see new releases and that's really cool but it's hard when you don't have the um the funds to keep buying new makeup all the time i have excitingly had money for my birthday to get new makeup so i will be talking about those whether that's in the vlog or in a separate video i think i might do a, the makeup i got for my birthday video um if anyone's interested and i will try and do makeup content as much as i can now we're settled in here but i'm just saying it might be less and the thing is then it me makes me inconsistent on my channel that um, obviously my mental health and physical health struggles makes me very inconsistent on my channel which is obviously why it's, it's not grown it is very hard to put in the work though when you are struggling with me really profound mental health issues and physical health issues quite a bit so so i'd love to upload more but it, it really depends on what's going on in my life and also since the pandemic we have had wow like the worst four years has it been four years yeah nearly well three years we've had the worst three years of our lives um which i will make a video about that separately i'm not going to go into it now but especially with um like moving and things like that and, and we had like a death in the family the last thing i could think of was making makeup videos to be honest and i know some people like that would be the opposite they'd think of just like trying to get out of that and have a distraction but when i i'm the kind of person and i've had to go to therapy for this that when something happens that's it i can't that's all i can think about and i just end up in a black hole about it so uh, anyway like i said we're not going to go into that this today's my birthday we're going to have a nice day and hopefully a nice week um i just thought i'd check in with you guys and i'll see you a bit later so i'm all ready to come out and i'm going to a place called herbert's yard in longwood birmingham and we're going to have a birthday waffle because the bourneville waffle company are there and we've never had anything from there before herbert's yard is really cool it's like a place where you can get different like food vans every week so you can try something different from different people and they have all sorts of like different dishes from around the world it's a really cool place to go and so that's where we're going today i've done my makeup and i've used the um winter wonderland palette by cosmic beauty i think they're called now but they wear cosmic brushes it's so beautiful like this multi-chrome it's stunning so that's what we're doing today and i'm going to take you along with me i'm not really good at vlogging myself in public i mean i'm not very good at vlogging myself in general because this is like the first time i've done it but um i will vlog the food and stuff like that so you get to see what the waffle looks like um anyway i will see you there So those waffles are really really nice i definitely recommend the bourneville waffle company they are so nice and light and they're all freshly made as well um it's not just like shop bought waffles or anything like that it's it's delicious i had the strawberry and the teller and you had the bueno mm -hmm. yeah sam doesn't want to be on the vlog so that's cool i'm going to respect that um but you might talk a little bit or maybe maybe <laughs> But yeah, yeah, Sam had the bueno and they were really good, weren't they? They, they were really were, delicious. Yeah. Um, we're going into Sainsbury's now and we're going to go and have a quick look at the clothes and get some shopping. So I might take you to look at the clothes as well. Sometimes they have some really nice things in there. Mm -hmm. 
So I thought I'd do a really quick grocery haul. It's not very interesting, but we did get a couple of things. Um, obviously some fruit, we got some easy peelers, pink lazy apples, my favorite, some bananas, got some pepperoni for snacking, some popcorn for the weekend, one of my favorite snacks. It's just the salted kind. And then I'm one of those people that doesn't like just straight up water, especially from the tap. Um, so if I do drink water, it has to be from the bottle. I just, I, I can taste chlorine and all sorts of things in there. I don't know. I just, my taste buds don't like it. Um, I like this raspberry and rhubarb spring water. Um, it's sparkling and that's my favorite kind. So I like carbonated drinks. So I got that. And then I got this, this one, which is the sparkling raspberry lemonade with a hint of Mediterranean rose. Not sure how I feel about the rose, but we're gonna give it a go. It sounds nice though. And then we got some soups for over the weekend for meals. Sam got the coconut laxa soup. This is a limited edition from um, Sainsbury's They Taste the Difference range. And then up from Yorkshire Provinder, I got the hearty Thai green chicken soup, which sounds really good. There wasn't that much of a great range of clothing. So I think they're going through their kind of like switching period from like winter to spring. There were a couple of pieces that I saw that I'll put in um, the vlog, but I did find some socks. Just some like little ankle socks. I thought these were quite cute. So I got those. But my favorite thing that I got was this heart from the Valentine's section. It's a heart plate. I already have some heart plates. So I'll show you some of my Valentine's decorations. Um, but this was on offer for four pounds at Sainsbury's and I just thought it was really cool. It's just like a little side dish. So yeah. So I thought we could try this raspberry lemonade together to see if I like it. Um, and like I said, I'm not sure about the rose. I like the smell of rose, but I'm not keen on things like Turkish Delight or anything like that. So if it's that kind of vibe, I feel like I'm not gonna like it, but I did wanna try it because I love raspberry lemonade. So let's have a taste. Okay, I know I've got a very small amount of drink for this huge pint glass, but I couldn't reach the smaller glasses. Sam's put them at the top of the cupboard. So it smells nice, but it does smell quite like rose. Oh, it tastes quite winey. It's not like wine at all, but it does taste like wine. It tastes a bit like Turkish Delight, so I'm not sure I love it. I think that might be one for Sam. <laughs> this is my cat, Megal. Her name's Meg, but I call her the Megal. <laughs> She's so cute. She's 15. She's been a bit unwell recently. She got diagnosed with hyperthyroidism. And um, some of the symptoms of that are pretty, pretty bad. So she's got quite high blood pressure and she started not using her litter box. And also she just started meowing like really loudly and aggressively. Um, not aggressively in terms of like she was angry, but the meow just sounded like almost like a baby crying. Her balance isn't the best either um, at the moment. Like she's a lot better than she was. At one point she could barely walk without falling over. And we were really worried about her, but we took her to the vets, did some blood tests and she's got hyperthyroidism and high blood pressure. So she's on medication for it. But she's just sleepy right now. Anyway, something I wanted to show you guys were these really cool socks that I got from my mum for my birthday. Um, these socks are from the Udi company, um, like the original Udi. Um, I got her an Udi for Christmas. She absolutely loves them. I'm not an Udi fan. I, I prefer my dressing gowns, to be honest, and my pyjamas. But she absolutely loves them and she swears by them, um, that they keep her warm and it keeps her electricity and gas down as well she really does swear by them so she actually surprised me with some hoodie style with some really cool fluffy socks and they're completely like sherpa lined all the way inside so they're going to keep my feet really really warm another thing i got for my birthday were these really nice singe beauty brushes from um sam's mum these are angelica nikvis brand and so far i'm really really loving them I did my eyeshadow with them today and they picked up the shadow really well. They blended really well. Um, this one on the second to the left with the, the thin one was really great for like the inner corner. So I got the complete set, but uh, the other three in the box, I haven't used them yet. I can't get my phone to focus, but it does say Singe Beauty on there. Oh yeah, if you can hear music in the background, which I'm sure you can, that's just Sam playing guitar and practicing. I live with a musician, so that's kind of typical of what happens in this house so yeah Megal is awake now hello Megal. she's a very shy cat 
She always has been. She's a bit of a scaredy cat. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's going to boot me. Are you going to boot me? Yes. Yes. Give me lots of love and kissing. Yes. So I thought I'd show you some of the really nice birthday cards I got today. So this one is from my nan and it says, have a perfect birthday. It looks lo a lot like the Megal. So I'm really pleased with that. It's a really nice card. Then this one is from Sam's Auntie Helen and Smiler. And they got me a card with a puffin catching all the fish. Love it. This one is from my good like internet friend Katie, who I've never met, but we've been friends with each other for like, it must be nearly 20 years. It's been crazy, but we've never met each other. Um, and th this is the card she got me, beautiful cake with macarons, I love macarons. And this huge card here that I'm trying to get into the frame is from my mum, I absolutely love it, I love the grumpy cat. Another year, another blaze of glory, so nice. And then I got this one from Sam, you can see a theme here with the cats, I absolutely love cats. And it says raw, <laughs> I'm not going to show you what's inside of them, but yeah, that's my card for my birthday. Hey guys, it's Tuesday. I unfortunately didn't vlog over the weekend because I got a fibro flare for daring to go out for my birthday. So I was down asleep on the sofa for a day and then I was recovering for the next two days. I was in quite a lot of pain as well, unfortunately. That's the thing with fibromyalgia. It's, it's very scary to go out and do things because you know the consequences can be really bad and they were unfortunately i am going out today but it is a sit down meal and i'm not walking around sainsbury's so i'm hoping that it's not going to be as bad today i'm wearing the nightshade palette from doodles by the bunny and gourmand girls and a couple of little like gems that purple shade on the inner corner looks really purple but it looks white in the pan so i didn't swatch it and i just put it on and it's quite purple, but I put a gem there and I think it looks all right. So we're going to go to the Heidelberg, which is near Redditch, I think. Um, it's a gastro pub and we're going to go and eat there. So I'm going to take you guys with me. I did get a few packages in the mail um, of like birthday presents and things I ordered, which I'm going to show you guys later. And yeah, we're just going to get on with the day. Happy Friday. I'm so sorry I haven't vlogged the last couple of days. I'm the worst weekly vlogger ever already. Um, but it's just been a bit of a week for me. Um, things not going so well and things like that. But um, I didn't really want to vlog. But today turned out to be a really nice day. I actually went out with Sam and we bought some of my birthday presents um, with some of the money that I got. And yeah, I had a really nice time. I thought I'd show you guys what I got. We went to the, um, the city centre in Birmingham, we went to the ball ring and the mailbox. It wasn't too busy for a Friday. I was a bit worried going on a Friday would be too busy. If you don't know this about me, I don't go out on my own. I have to go out with someone else that I trust. I just have this thing where I feel like I'm going to be attacked or something. It's, it's really weird, but um, I can't go out on my own. So I don't like really busy places either, but it was actually not too bad today when we went. So anyway, let's get on with um, what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Black Opium by Yves Saint Laurent. And this is the um, Black Opium over Red. And it smells incredible. It has notes of coffee, cherry and vanilla. And that's exactly what it smells like when it first goes on. You can smell those really nice cherry notes on me. Um, I was worried it was going to be a bit like marzipan. I'm not really a big fan of marzipan or anything like that, but it kind of... Um, settled down and I really really like it. It just dries down to like a spicy vanilla on me. This is like my big present and it was actually on sale for 20% off in Boots which I was surprised at because this is the new perfume but yeah I'm really really happy with it. I then got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the really cool pink packaging. This is one of her new lipsticks and this is in the shade... let me see if I can... 90s pink here's the color of the lipstick really really pretty this is how it looks swatched you'll have to excuse the cut on my hand but it's a really cool deep like brownish pink then i got the fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter and this is in the shades lightning dust and fire crystal 
And I just thought this was so pretty. I nearly got the diamond bun, which is quite glittery if you don't like glitter and your highlight. I mean, it's little micro glitters, but if you don't like a sparkly highlight, I'd stay away from that. If you do, I'd go and check it out. It's a little bit more expensive than this one. But um, yeah, I got this. I thought it would suit my skin tone the best. Um, let me swatch this for you as well. So here's the swatches of those highlighters really really pretty I'm really excited about this i know this is an old product i've never owned it myself so i thought i'd treat myself then from lush i got this passion shower gel and it just smells like passion fruit like sweet passion fruit it's beautiful um and it's also like sparkly as well um i really like the lush shower gels i love a yoga Nonga christmas and snow fairy and i really like the smell of this one as well okay i've got a confession to make i am a lip scrub collector i have dry disgusting really chapped lips and um, especially in the winter so these lip scrubs really help me out and this one is in sweet talk and it is just the sweet smelling lip scrub that's all i can say about it really but i really liked it so i picked this up and this is from the valentine's collection along with that passion shower gel so if you're looking for something like make sure to go and order um and get it or order it online before valentine's day ends um they've got some really nice stuff in there actually and just like some little things i got some gel pens from miniso which is like a cool shop it's almost like a sanrio shop with hello kitty and friends um, but they had these gel pens. I'm not sure what they're like. They were really affordable, but I can't wait to try them out. And also I got this, which is it's actually um, a Hello Kitty portable folding silicone straw and a straw cleaner, which sounds kind of odd and why would you want it? But I am one of those people who like to drink from a straw because I have sensitive teeth. Also, I don't like the, the feeling of really ice cold drink on my teeth on my teeth i'm a bit, a bit weird about textures and things like that so portable straw is perfect for me and the fact that this can just go and get thrown into a handbag is brilliant so there you go it's just a silicone straw and then you get this really cool springy straw cleaner as well hey guys it is now monday i was going to vlog a couple of days over the weekend but i um I might have had another fibro flare and just slept and ached for the whole weekend it wasn't very nice i'm still really achy now to be honest um we did watch the super bowl last night that was really interesting i was a bit bored at first i don't we watch it every year but i was a bit bored at first because i felt like nothing was happening but um it got interesting towards the end it got really spicy towards the end so that was good um we stayed up until about four in the morning so all that sleep over the weekend probably helped me to stay up um i'm really sorry if you keep hearing about the fibro flares i know it's probably really annoying it's probably going to be a common feature in these vlogs um it's a really really annoying for me to be living it to be honest as well so um anyway i hope you enjoyed this vlog if you did please comment or like or subscribe it really helps my channel out and yeah i will see you in my next video